Hi guys and welcome to another Twitter bootstrap tutorial. Today is about making the type ahead plugin live. I had a comment from someone watching the video and decided to make a video about how to make this plugin live. Live is where the plugin will work on input fields input fields, sorry, that have been dynamically created after the web page was loaded. So say if we click a button and another input field was created, we still want the plugin to work on these newly created input fields. So to start off with, we're going to need to go to Google and search for Live Query jQuery. And it'll be the first one here on the top. And then if we scroll down to the GitHub, click on here. Once that's loaded, scroll down and click on the jQuery.LiveQuery.js. Click on the raw file. You need to copy and paste the contents of this file. Open up your text editor, create a new file, call it livequery.js, then inside this file paste all of that. Save it and close it. So straight away we need to include this in our project. So livequery.js. Close that. And now if we reload the page, there's nothing else happening. We need to add a button to create some dynamic input fields. So let's do this. Let's create a button with the class of btn, btn-primary, and add input. Give it a value of add input. Right, now let's create a new div with the class of well. In here is where all the new input fields are going to be created. So let's create a paragraph with the ID of para. New input below. This is just going to be a holder for us to add um, new text fields after this paragraph. So let's go check out what this looks like. So here's the add button, and here's where they're going to go. But if we add it, nothing happens. So let's create that functionality quickly. Let's do it below here. So we need to grab the class of add input, which is our button. Give it the listener of live, and click listener with a function. All right. In here, we need to get ah, sorry, <laughs> the ID of para, and then after, we're going to put this in a new paragraph with an input type equals text, class equals span three and type ahead and then we also need the data provide in here as well let's get rid of those double quotes and replace them with some single quotes and that should be enough for that so if we reload here and add input we get new inputs but obviously if we add a new input and even though they have the class of type ahead they still don't work because they are dynamically created and the plugin doesn't recognize that they're there as they were dynamically created and added to the DOM. So for this to work, we need to import the live jQuery, which we've already done, and we need a few changes to this. So I'm going to rewrite this out with class of type ahead, and then we need to apply the plugin of live query with a function, and then inside this, all we need to do is this, and then the original plugin that we used of type ahead. Let's realign that and let's get rid of the original function that we are using. So here right below is, is the code that will work. So let me just go and show you. The original input field still works the same. And now when we add an input field and type in, we get the dynamic list that we wanted. And this can happen as many times as we want. We can add an unlimited amount of 
new input fields and this will still work. So I hope this is a big help and if, as always, please rate, comment, subscribe and you can always PM me for the source code if you like and I'll leave the links in the descriptions. Thank you for watching and goodbye.